from uh, 2D drum. And you can see it is very, very fast, and not, not just sort of uh, big motions, but uh, also very small. So this is just a centimeter right here, and it's uh, pretty easy to sort of draw something in that space. And if people can't see, basically David's finger is just on top of this. And of course, not just one finger, but uh, you know, multiple fingers and multiple hands. And I can sort of move my hands through the air real fast to sort of pause everything. And of course, you can see all of these paths are in 3D. And uh, not just, uh, we don't just, of course, track the fingers, but uh, we also track the entire hand as well. So uh, let me zoom in here for a second. So you can see very, very tiny motions of my fingertips are, uh, are easy to pick up. And uh, so that when I was sort of drawing, you just sort of see me do like this. And uh, of course, multiple hands too as well, they're sort of my arms and things. And uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. And uh, as I said, the first thing that uh, got me into this was that sort of uh, clay molding experience. And so what I'd like to do here is to kind of show a quick example of that. And uh, so here I kind of have this, uh, this little piece of clay. And uh, I kind of want to go in here and maybe sculpt out some of the holes right here and uh, put in a little, a little thing right here and there. And uh, bring it out so I can uh, do a bit of a nose. Hopefully, yeah, right here. And then maybe I go up here and pull out some of the well, few parts like that. And here we've got kind of a little Bart Simpson type of guy. And uh, not particularly proud of the, of the, of the detail in it, but that's. That's about what I can do in the same amount of time with a piece of clay, and I'm very proud that that is now possible. <laughs>